when it comes to off-riding, e-scooters are a great choice because they are more convenient than a mountain bike and significantly more affordable than a quad bike. Still, off-road scooters aren't exactly cheap, so buying one should take some research before you wait out your wallet. If you're really looking forward to ride on rough ground such as hiking trails, forest hills, and unsurfaced roads, we recommend going for a dual motor instead of a singular motor. Off-ride electric scooter. This is so the stress would be evenly distributed instead of being focused on just one half. In this case, a dual motor 1000 watt all terrain electric scooter would be ideal, giving you a total of 2000 watt of power. But how will you know if you are purchasing something valuable of or a ripoff? Our team of scooters, riders, and specialists have listed the factors you need to know before buying an off road scooter or electric scooter. Basically, what is an off-road electric scooter? Before buying one, you should know the definition exactly. Electric scooters have been around for quite a while and the market has grown massive over the years. You have probably heard of types of scooters such as the kick scooter, push scooter, stunt scooter, big wheel scooter, pedal scooter and the B scooter. So what exactly is an off-road electric scooter? While you can use a pretty basic adult scooter to pop up the mall, an off-road electric scooter, also known as a truck scooter, is also something you can offer on or use on rough surfaces. You would be able to take it to forests, hiking trails, dark roads, hills, and rough terrain. Good off-road electric scooters are equipped with high engine power, suspension, and thick old terrain tires to survive bumps, rocky tracks, gravel, inclines, and unsafe roads in general. Motor power, let's talk about. It's vital for off-road electric scooters to have good motor power because otherwise they won't survive the road when it gets rough, uneven, and bumpy. It's also why many manufacturers put the engine wattage at the forefront of the set, with an epic acceleration of up to 64 mph and a range of about 44 miles. This electric scooter will appeal to commuters and joyriders. It features incredible wheel optimized for both smooth and subjective and rough wheel. Equipped with ultra large 11 inch off-bed tires, the Fiable 206 electric scooter is a bike of choice for rough terrain. This scooter both holds 2,200 watt motors, producing an outstanding total nominal power up to 5,600 watts. Equipped with a high quality 50 volt, 77 and pair battery with premium Samsung lithium ion cell. This scooter has a range of up to 44 miles and it supports an incredible thousand discharge size. Although this scooter falls for storage, it weighs a whopping 93 pounds, so it's difficult to adjust it. This H scooter boasts an advanced Advanced disc braking system that provides short braking distances equipped with a tail light and horn. This electric scooter is safe to ride both during the day and night. It has a water resistant design that supports riding on wet roads. Super smooth shock absorbers on this model provide a comfortable ride both on the on road and off road. It achieves a blistering top speed of about 54 mph making it a good choice for cross country riders. So, if you have a good scooter, the light and weight work good. This scooter is not for the faint of heart. It goes fast enough to kill you. If they would have been a little closer to the situation, I would give this thing a faint out of faint. Riding off-road means leaving familiar paths and exploring rough or possibly unknown trails you need such for the company in the adventures and the fear would is one of the best options for the 
The dual high power motor produces a total of 5,800 watts. It is remarkable as well as we have seen it in clocks in a 54 mph, although it's only as good as 43 mph. We have also 11 inch tires, a ski type shock absorber, and a faster base response. All of this enables the scooter to tackle difficult terrain. Night riding is great as the ski or ski is outfitted with headlights and taillights and sidelights for maximum visibility on the road. Two motors producing 2,800 watts each. Top speed is higher than a start. Responsive brakes and effective shock absorption, maximum visibility with headlights, taillights, and sidelights. Foldable designs, long battery lights, great wings, it's a minimal thing. And the cost is just all the old. Like, it's high in price. The price ranging is actually a little bit high and warranty could be better. I didn't like the warranty policy of them. Still, it's the best for off-ride bike in my opinion. Thanks for watching today's video. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.